I've had this PS Portal here for a little while now, and forgive me, I'm not even going to try to hide the glare. This thing is just too darn glossy. But I've hooked it up to my PS5. I've played a couple games with it. The kind of games that make sense to play on it. I'll be honest, I haven't played it a ton. In fact, I actually sold the first one that I got, and then I missed it a little bit, and I bought another one. And I've just been waiting for that little something extra to make it worth playing. And today, it showed up. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Family Geekery. Today we're going to be checking out the new firmware version for this, version 4.0.0. It just dropped out like yesterday or today, as of the time of this recording. And of course, it has some stability updates and stuff like that, but most importantly, it's got a beta version of cloud streaming, and that is going to be the difference maker, I think, for this device. Now the PS Portal itself, you either love it or you hate it, you either think it's great or you think it's stupid, and that's how it was since it first got on the market. It's been quite simply just a second screen to play your PS5 console, which you need to have a PS5 console, and if you're playing a game that's on a disc, you have to have the disc in the drive. And for some people it made perfect sense, but for some people it just didn't. And I'll admit I was in the category of that second one where it just didn't make a lot of sense. If I'm going to play the PS5, I'm going to play it up on the screen. But like I said, I did find a couple use cases for it. I played a little Hades on it, and that performed well streaming from the PS5 to the portal. But with the firmware update that came out today with cloud streaming beta, it makes a whole lot more sense. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. So when I turned on the portal today, it said there was an update, so I downloaded it, let it update itself, and it came back to the home screen. Now when it came back to the home screen, and I'll go ahead and turn this thing on here, it came back and the first thing it wanted to do was connect to the PS5. Of course, that's what it always wants to do. So it comes up with this screen here saying, hey, there's no PS5 consoles paired with the account, and that's because it's been a little while since I've used it. I think I may have even used a different account on my PS5 last time I played it. And before, you couldn't do anything. But now, there's a button here that says Skip. So if we go ahead and skip, you had to go into the settings here. And go to Cloud Streaming Beta. And once I ticked that on, which it was default, it was turned off. Once I turned that on, it said on the home screen, there's going to be a new option. And sure enough, there it is. So stream from the game catalog, cloud streaming beta. And I was greeted with a screen here with just tons of games. Now these are the games that are included with PlayStation Plus, which I am a subscriber of. And to be honest, I was thinking about letting that lapse, but I'm glad that I didn't just in time to test this out because there is just a ton of games in here. And there's some, you know, AAA games in here, really good stuff. And I picked one that I thought would perform well, one that I haven't gotten a chance to play yet. And I tried out this Animal Well, I've heard a lot of good things about it. And it's a great little platformer, so nothing high stress on a, on a machine. And when I went into it, it took a couple seconds, said, setting up your stream. And then boom, it just worked. So keep in mind, I have not even set this thing up with my PlayStation 5 yet. And like I said, maybe I haven't even set this up since I repurchased it to my PS5. But I did set it up with my PlayStation account, and it knew that I had the PlayStation Plus, and that was it. It just showed up with all these games. So it'll be interesting to try it out with something a little bit heavier, like that Spider-Man game or even Grand Theft Auto V and see how well it performs with streaming. But the short and sweet of it is, this is 1000% better than what it was just two days ago when all it could do was play a game that you owned that was already plugged into the machine that's hooked up to your TV that you could have just grabbed a controller and played anyways. So that's gonna wrap it up for this short little video. I just wanted to show you guys, in case you hadn't heard, new firmware, an awesome new feature it's not for everyone. You have to already own one of these. You have to already have a PlayStation Plus account and possibly own a PS5. But I think as long as they keep on adding features to it, make this cloud streaming better and better, I think this thing's going to sell a lot more units. So let me know in the comments below if you've got one of these, if you've tried out this streaming, and what game you've been trying. Let me know also if you have any questions. I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, I appreciate a thumbs up. 
go ahead and check out the rest of the channel. I appreciate you for watching, and until next time, peace out and geek out.